Good morning everybody. Maying buntag, maying hapon, maying gabi. Kanin yung tanan. This is Mary Lou, Filipina Desert Gardener or FDG. Aloha. Today is a big day. Today we have to reveal our quarantine project which is um, the chicken coop chicken hoop house so we have been working on this for uh, since mid May I think but here in the desert it gets really hot so quickly so we can only work maybe um, a few hours a day we'll take a break and then start again so little by little finally today or it was um, yesterday was completed so it's time to go get some chicken but before we go buy chicken let me show you the chicken hoop house that Sir Gardner helped me build so samahan niyo ko thank you tara na let's go
time to pour our chicken wires. The frame is done. So let's do this.
it's we're gonna start at the front see a nice sunset was the sunset wall. Mr. Gardener there getting ready. make sure I don't get run over with this because this is bad news. time or my first time uh, raising chicken here in the desert. view of a mountain.
right, we are ready for the Filipino Desert Gardener to come look at her new chicken coop. Okay, we got, we got some old school Filipino kind baskets for the chicken, for the manok. And then we have some modern appropriated plastic receptacles that have been modified with a sawzall. And the reason I went this way is so that I can pull them out and hose them off because my nook gets very, very dirty. So they got a place to walk, rail, rock solid, a little ladder for them to get up. We've got straw on the ground. We have illumination. Something for them to play on. They roost on this, they poop into the pan. We collect the poop, add water to reconstitute it and turn it into fertilizer water. Here's a little door to flush them out. Let them out into the chicken run. Here's a little modification. This uh, tie down strap, the way I have this rigged up is super tight on the other side. And then this one here, I just simply adjust it. See, it goes. I gotta push it down. There we go, over the bump. And that way it locks it in place and it's tight and the wind won't roll it away, so. Here we go. Underneath the dirt piles is chicken wire to keep the predators from digging in. This was installed prior to putting on the chicken run. There we go, each one of these is three feet. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, 36 feet long by, hell, I don't know, 16 feet wide, maybe? Anyway. All right, this PVC pipe, old. So I cut it, strung it. That's what the little guys are going to peck at for their food. And then when they're done, we just lift it up out of the way and stow it away. For the water, something I found is pretty neat. These things here, when you move them, they fill up the little buckets with water. So that's how the chickens are gonna drink. Looks like I might have a little bit of a seepage issue on one of these nozzles anyway. So we've got hills and valleys for them to walk in, exercise, and play on. Everything is sealed. The mesquite bush is going to grow up through. See, it's already finding its way to get through the, the chicken wire, but that's okay. The higher it goes, the more shade it provides. Got an emergency exit. try to dig underneath there, they're gonna run into that chicken wire. It's all underneath all of this. Here's some more shade mesquite. See, this has got some bean that's on it. We're gonna harvest these beans and make uh, flour. We're gonna try to make bread and tortilla and stuff like the Indians used to, so that's what we're gonna do with the mesquite. Here's the uh, Filipina Desert Gardener's official cactus, which looks like her logo. Started all this with the chain. But anywho, so here we go. This is our chicken run. This is our chicken coop. There's a little latch for the inside. Look at that, it just jumps right on there. God, perfect. Perfect engineering. Okay. Just to explain about this real quick. Two by four construction. We got plumber's tape holding it to the bar very tightly screwed in secure. I stole everybody's idea off the internet. So thank you very, very much to all of those people on the YouTube that made these things because I stole every one of your ideas from each and every one of you and 
put my own spin on it. And I really appreciate the uh, the, the head start that y'all gave me. So now there's some uh, homesteaders in Missouri or something. We got a lot of this information from. Raylo, what was that YouTube in Missouri? Oh, living living traditions. Yeah, living traditions uh, started all this. Thank you very much to those guys. I don't know who you guys are. You guys don't know who I am, but. We, uh, we follow you and we appreciate the tips and tricks that you show on your YouTube channel there. We, uh, we steal them. I mean, <clears throat> we incorporate them at every chance that we get. So thank you very much for that. A lot of this other design stuff that came up with, just stuff I came up with on the fly. Uh, just to, uh, just my own stuff going on here. But uh, yeah, that's it. And uh, this whole thing is dedicated to my late brother, Chuck. Passed away last December sad but things happened so thank you very much for watching love you chuck you would have had a blast playing with the chickens on this hey all right here comes the customer now right on time for our nine o'clock appointment So we're gonna turn over the chicken coop structure to uh, Filipino Desert Gardener, give her the uh, certificate of occupancy and go on to the next project site. How you doing? You're the uh, Filipino Desert Gardener? Anyways, so now that our chicken hoop house is done, our chicken run is done, the watering system is hang, and so all we need is chicken. So let's go get some chicken. We'll see you in a little bit when we do have chicken. Oh, by the way, if you guys have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe my channel give a like and share if you like it and make sure to click the notification bell so you'll get updated when I post new videos because there's a lot more coming up here at the Filipina Desert Gardener of Southern New Mexico so we'll see you in a little bit with this chickens bye for now Alright, alright, alright. We're ready to go pick up some chickens. And now we're gonna use the dog kennel for the chickens.
Look, she has a pig. Hold on, let me go see your pig. Pig oh my goodness. You look delicious, boy. Or girl, or whatever you are. You look delicious. <laughs> it's a male. See how she watered the... That's my friend's... Uh... Here's a chicken. Yeah, show me. Cause my guy got out. Oh, look at that! My guy, he just. You're the expert. Now we gotta go catch that guy. It is. Okay, this is where the big guys meet the little guys. That's the big guys. And those are the little guys that are over there. They've been all together the whole time, and so they're, they're birds of a feather flock together kind of thing. The little guys are just 
little hen's just chilling. Big hens are keeping their distance. And then the one rooster, Chester, he's like just hanging out. Going in to check them out. I guess they're doing okay. They're not attacking each other yet. Okay, well, we're gonna grab one of you guys and stick you up on the shelf. Let's see what happens. That's what we're gonna do. Uh. I need a volunteer. Who's going to volunteer for me? Which one of you guys going to volunteer? Huh? Which one are you going to volunteer? Let's mix these guys together. be attacking. Alright, everybody outside, everybody outside.